Thomas! Fuck! Oh. So, how have you been? Good, good. And yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, not, not good, not good, actually. <laughs> hey, what's that? Uh, well, I'm gonna be dead in a month. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do with your last month? Um, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Uh, why, why do nothing when you can do something? Because <laughs> I know something personal. I do nothing. <laughs> so why not change? If there was ever a time to do something with your life, it'd be now. And it's great, changing right now. One of the worst things I could possibly do. Why is that? No, I told you about my grandfather. Well, uh, so he died as a hero. He was a cunt. See, uh, <laughs> he used to beat my grandmother and my mother and threaten to kill them. If they ever told me one. Well, uh, <laughs> he was an abusive, alcoholic, womanizing asshole. But you see, he was also a member of the volunteer fire brigade. <laughs> one day there was a bushfire and went out to fight and uh, he was burned alive. <laughs> you see, anyone who didn't really know him didn't think he was a hero, but he wasn't. So I ask you, is it worse to, to live like an asshole and die like an asshole? Or is it worse to live an asshole and then trick people into thinking you're a good person by dying like a good man? You make a good point. So, what do you think you'll do then? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Got my coffee and sugar rats.